This video shows how to create versions of your media file for various playback environments by creating several renditions using Vidly, a service powered by encoding.com. By using this process, you can upload one video file, and with the resulting embeddable Vidly link, you can serve nearly every playback endpoint from low-end feature phones to full home theater installations powered by a browser. To get started, it's easy. All you need to do is create an account with encoding.com. Now when you sign up, encoding.com will give you one gigabyte of transcoding time per month for free. Just go to encoding.com slash sign up to get started. I already have an account, so I've just logged in. So there's lots of ways to upload your file to encoding.com. I'm just going to upload one from my desktop for this presentation. Once you've selected a file, hit open. And you'll see a progress bar showing your files upload. In this example, I've attached an MP4 file that's encoded at a very high bitrate, mixed in 5.1, and encoded in Dolby Digital Plus already. I'll use Vidly to create other renditions of this file to match varying device and network conditions. Your original mix and encoding settings may be different, but if you're uploading to be able to deliver video to a variety of endpoints, the encoding we pick in the next step is the important part. So, now everything's uploaded. And you'll notice the details of that file on the left side there. On the right, we're going to pick out an output format now. When we drop down the list, you'll see there's a variety of different encoding types and outputs that we can pick. We're going to go the easy way. We're going to do this in one step, and we're going to go to Vidly. Under the preset, we're also going to select Vidly, the only one available. And then we're going to save. Now hit Process Video. Encoding.com will start creating files to deliver the right file to the right client based on Vidly's device detection. Okay, after a few minutes, our file is finished processing. And you can verify details of the encoding job from here. Click the plus next to your file take a look at some of the, the details of the encoding session. Um, let's also take a look at the files that were created. So I'm going to go over here to the left and click on Vidly. And then in the list of videos that I have there, I'm going to find the one that I just created. It's on top. And that'll take us to the embed code for the video. You can copy that easily from here by hitting the Copy to Clipboard button, but let's take a look at the files that were created in this process while we're at it. So go over and click Files to the left. Now take a look at the list of files that were created in that one step. We have HLS up top, and so we have some HTTP live streaming streams put together. Those are encoded in AAC, but below that you'll notice there's an HLS stream also encoded in Dolby Digital Plus. We also created several MP4s ranging from SD to HD quality, some WebM clips, and some 3GP clips, as well as some poster images, some thumbnails, and some QR codes. Going back to the embed code, you're able to copy this code completely out, or a section of it, to see your URL. Let's try it out. I'm using Microsoft Edge. It's one of the browsers capable of decoding Dolby Digital Plus, so Vidly, using its device detection, has served me the HLS stream with Dolby Digital Plus audio. And that's it. In one workflow, we've been able to encode a video for delivery to several different endpoints using Vidly. If you have any questions, please contact us at Dolby Developer.